Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio where black media matters and black life definitely matters. Today is Friday, August 17, 2018. Well, in a funny, twisted, kind of karmatic way, karma's a bitch, then you die. That's exactly what happened to Max Lomas, who was found unresponsive in the bathroom with a syringe next to his body. That's right. Who was Max Lomas, you might ask? Well, he was Bobby Christina Brown's roommate and also ex-boyfriend, according to sources. And he is the one who first found Bobby Christina face down head immersed in the water in the bathtub. This is the guy that found her that way. Not Nick Gordon. Nope. This guy went and told Nick Gordon that she was in the bathtub found that way. Now, like I said, originally I used these words wisely. I said in a twisted kind of way. And yeah, don't you find it kind of twisted that he's the one that went into the bathroom to find her that way? Don't you find that kind of peculiar? I do. I, if I was Nick Gordon, I would have been asking, what were you doing going into the bathroom? What were you looking for? What's going on here? But more importantly, let me just say that he was a guest of Bobby Christina Brown living in Whitney Houston's home and he was the one who actually came across Bobby Christina Brown's body and alerted Nick Brown, I mean Nick Gordon. And when he alerted Nick Gordon, you know, then all the media jumped on the bandwagon. And if you recall, all the media focused on was Nick Gordon and Bobby Brown. And they left this little white boy out of the equation altogether. Now, what do I mean in a karmetic way when I say karma's a bitch, then you die? Well, this guy was found also in the bathroom with a syringe next to his body and he had overdosed. I wonder if he was their drug supplier. Every single time there is black death there's always a white drug supplier in the middle somewhere. It just so happens to be that way. Black people, you are so trusting of everyone for unknown, ungodly reasons. But this is what you do. And then you wonder why you find yourselves dead. Now, family, what's interesting about this situation is that when... They found Bobby Christina. Remember, she was in a coma for six months before she died, unfortunately, when she died July 26 in 2015. But her official cause of death, death was listed as pneumonia. But the medical examiner, the medical examiner said she died from complications of her head being immersed in water and drug intoxication and again this guy is in the middle of their household this guy right here who is now dead himself so family I don't know about you but I don't understand our high profile black entertainers always end up with these shady white people in their myths. 
and I mean they are shady. You know that guy who always claimed himself to be Michael Jackson's friend, Brand Brando, or whatever the hell his name was? You never hear about him anymore, do you? You don't hear him making any tributes or anything towards his friend, Michael Jackson, do you? Nope, he was an enabler, just like this guy right here. But more so, this guy, Max Lomas, I have a strange, suspicious feeling that he was A, either their drug dealer, and or B, he could have been the one who actually murdered Bobby Christina Brown, being that the source says that he was a quote ex-boyfriend and if that is the truth this ex-boyfriend living in her mother's mansion with her husband Nick Gordon if you will knowing that they have a volatile relationship because as the rumors go they were constantly having quarrels uh, because of Nick Gordon's alleged domestic violence with her. So, you know, this white guy being in the middle there, being an ex-boyfriend, you know, for whatever reason, didn't get his way. He could have been the one that immersed her head in the water, causing her to drown. And especially if he was the one who gave her drug intoxication for her to be intoxicated if you catch my drift now in the twisted fate of things he himself Max Lomas is dead from an overdose karma's a bitch then you die now you understand why I say that and you know for those of his friends who you can't believe he's gone and you feel bad. I don't. I don't feel bad for him at all. I have a strange suspicion about your friend, Max Lomas. Yet, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it at all. Bobby Christina Brown is who I'm concerned with. And her death was very strange and suspicious just like her mother's and how that all unfolded with Clive the devil himself and you know Clive you should think so many black slaves I mean black Americans who worked to make you rich you can't you can't say black people are lazy can you Clive Davis neither can a whole bunch of other of you white people either can you but anyways, rest in peace, Christine, Bobby Christina Brown. And like I said, I found this story very, very strange once I found out that this guy, Max Lomas, and Bobby Christina were housemates in Whitney Houston's home, but that he was an ex-boyfriend. I found that very, very strange. In, in, in and all and then lastly white media you're so disgusting you're such trash you guys always report in the trashy way that you always do and I, I don't feel bad for you when your president Donald Trump is always on your ass I don't feel bad for you at all because you guys don't report rightful information anyways you guys always leave out all the important facts don't you like how Max Lomas was in the middle of Nick Gordon's and Bobby Christina Brown's relationship and how he was a mysterious figure that happened to be a drug addict and could have been involved in Whitney Houston's murder and possibly Bobby Christina Brown's too that's my opinion that's how I'm seeing it this is a strange guy right here and I don't like it this is Guru at Black Talk Radio 
Hope you enjoyed another segment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm done. Peace out.